Universal Greetings and Peace. This is C Omega Sun. Once again, reporting to you live from Third Rock from the Sun, tiny blue book called Earth, in the middle of space. Um, I'm trying to keep this one short and sweet as well. Uh, second installment for the day, so basically running pretty good. Um, but this one is about a more touchy topic. The Huntington Beach Riot 2013. Um, if you can, please Google it. Please YouTube it. It is a sight to see. And the topic is not... Uh, 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 how should I say it? A racially charged topic. But it does involve uh, race and ethnicity. Um, privilege and things of that nature. Say why? Because even after... Um, the verdict was mentioned in the Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman trial from the death of the young brother Trayvon Martin when you thought there would be a 1992 uprising riot brawl you know um, anarchy things of that nature it didn't happen like that people they held to their higher senses and they um, got along and did what they had to do to still promote the message of injustice and you know we did vigils 100 city vigil you know thanks for people like the Nas National Action Network and you know what people don't really give like uh, a recognition to those type of movements like the man up movement and the peacekeepers movement and so many other movements out there that are stepping up in in the cause of um basically uplifting the the poor esteem of the community especially in the um, original black community um but this one was different this was after surfing or while a surfing competition was going on and I still you know hey, I still contemplate why would anybody riot about a surfing competition but that's neither here nor there is it it's more about youth aggression and a lack of guidance you know and with this you know you say you know these Caucasian young men and women and I can I spot about five or six, uh, right from one of the feeds that I've seen, five or six original, you know, black people, you know, and if they were Hispanic, you couldn't tell, um, in the crowd of thousands. And they went berserk. I mean, turned over porta potties. Imagine you in a porta potty, and all of a sudden you hear this loud commotion, and then. Timber, over you go. All that stuff, all of you know, ah, a lot of messy liquids. All come on, man. They 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 looted bike store, took a bunch of bikes. They, they ransacked the place. They ransacked several different businesses. You know, litter everywhere. And these are kids that go to prominent colleges. Some of these are young adults with prominent jobs, a firefighter, uh, EMT worker. What's the excuse then? Okay, okay. Maybe you were bored, right? And what did it say? Um, I don't mind as a playground for all things evil. But as far as what, you know, um, how should I say, the elitist in this country that, that, you know, praise the American ideology of, of the um, average youth, which is, you know, a white American male or white American female. They have higher intellect and these privileges of going to, you know, well-esteemed colleges and institutions of higher learning to do this. <laughs> um... They look at 
places like Chicago, places like Philadelphia, Camden, New Jersey, uh, the inner cities of New York, inner cities of um, California, and they degrade and dehumanize and, you know, make null and void the struggle that these young men and women have in order to grow up in these environments where you're lucky to go to a school consistently. You're lucky to go to a school consistently because of the high concentration of people on top of each other, plus the low amount of jobs, plus the lower amount or opportunity to go to higher schools of learning, uh, not just because of your mental intellect, but just because you don't have the money to go there like that, not being from a privileged status. And you would think that the violence is precipitated on them just being crazy or savage. It's not so. Because when it's come down time to portray that violence on people that don't look like them, they don't do it. They usually hurt the ones that's closest to them. Why? Because that's the ones they're in competition with. Which is sad. It's just something that an African American community, or I'd rather say original Morris community, or whatever you want to call it, the black community has to fix within itself. But what's the problem with the young Caucasian, the young white male and female, where there's underage drinking, high addiction rates of, of, of these prescription drugs and crystal meth and, you know, anything else that be cooked up in a laboratory, heroin addiction, um, fanatic addi addiction, uh, part of my words, fanatic addiction, meaning with these super mega stadiums that they have for the colleges and, and, and the gung-ho spirit of, yeah, my team is going to kill yours, ah, dress up and body paint and things of that nature and just go crazy and, 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 and insanely wild for the cause of the team. Or the, the many sexual um, deviancies and, and, and the, uh, the sexual fetishes that these guys take upon, you know, the, the, the college orgies and, you know, they, they run into a team or one girl run into a whole team and things of that nature. These, you know, these things that break your heart as a parent, as any parent, I don't care what ethnicity you are. You know, this is what's happening while you're at your board meeting. This is what's happening. The Project X parties and things of that nature while you're away, you know, in your vacation, you know, to Tuscany and things of that nature. Uh, San Jope. These things are happening. You know, and um, you would say it's the breakdown of the family, you know, the black family, that the, the reason why these kids are going crazy and things of that nature. No, it's also the fact that the funds that they do get for after school programs and for summer school programs and you know the community development has always been touched by unclean hands legal and unlegal legal and illegal yeah the first critical service the first services that usually are dipped into are those services that are, that are set up and established to help the youth and then you wonder why they turn against the society that they live in or you wonder why there's nobody coming up with those morals, values and principles in order to keep those things going or to push us along and move us into a, 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 a brighter direction 
having worked with youth for the majority of my life and you know thanks to all those that put me into that position thanks to i say i give praise to everyone that had the, the patience and, and and the humility and the virtue to actually fulfill their positions in helping these youth because you actually have changed the life here and there these things count these things count and it wasn't about how much money that the child um had the child's parents had to pay to get them in there because sometimes we would work with little to nothing and still have a good time and still learn valuable life lessons why these privileged kids they got five thousand dollars for a summer have all the programs in the world and still go astray what is it you know we could blame education we can blame the household we can blame peer pressure but most of all you have to consider that that the privilege that you thought was there and available and uh, and necessary for some people is not the same as it once was it has become a spoiled culture because whenever you're not willing to give back to another person you will definitely feel the effects of the karmic retribution of not giving anything out that's why you know I, I've learned to tr try to subtly push paying it forward this is what this whole series is about whatever little knowledge whatever little uh, consideration compassion some some amusement pay it forward let somebody else know that there's, there's another level involved to, to clear their mind to get to another form of enlightenment to find a little bit of themselves in these situations now Huntington the, the riot is just the least uh, 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 um, this is the least factor or the the, uh, the smallest event that transpired as of as of, of recent times that may cause a greater dynamic on how we see uh, youth in America. You know, um, what I'm saying is this. What you're seeing right now, and it wasn't even put into the media like that with the, with the Huntington uh, situation because America doesn't like to look at itself sometimes. You know, and they, they, they vilified Malcolm X for that statement when he said America coming home to roost and, and that whole situation. If you can, Google that whole uh, event up around the... the um, Killing of John, John F. Kennedy, one of the great presidents of, you know, corporate United States of America. And you'll see this angst wasn't coming from the original uh, black people. There was a sentiment that was floating amongst um, conservative white people about John F. Kennedy, the Caucasian people. And then you start to, you know, if you can really do the research, you start to put the puzzle pieces together and you'll see the bigger picture. You know, and that's what this is all about. And I'm not going to go into a whole situation of uh, what they can do to better themselves and what we can do to better ourselves as a people and all that. It is what it is right now. The best you can do is sit somebody down that you know and work from there you know and if you want to uh, uh, get into the knowledge of your history and things of that nature or the knowledge you actually want to get into the knowledge of other people's histories as well so you know clearly what to expect and what can transpire out of people because history usually repeats itself unless real change comes about now real change is not just from 
one state of affairs to the next. It's a whole dynamic that comes with it. You know, it's it's, it's, it's a it's a point where you don't need to laugh about the situation, but you feel like you want to. Of course, when I first saw it, I wanted to laugh. This is going buck wild right here. These kids are going crazy, especially when the potty when the porta potties fell over, they got tipped over, and what have you. I'm like, look, these guys are off the chain. You know, but then reality set in. This is why they have freedom zones when you do uh, protests. Trying to keep the, the crowd in line. Which basically I see is uh, um, I see it as a, 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 a point where they can start to manipulate freedom of assembly. Which is one of your Bill of Rights. One of, your, one of your rights in the Bill of Rights. Which is part of the Constitution. One of their amendments. These, you know, it trickles down like that. So we got to be careful of that slippery slope. And yeah, you know, some say the Constitution wasn't written for them. I get that. I understand that totally. But there is a, a, a societal framework that goes about you being a dignified person in society and still being responsible for not just your actions, but how precedent is set from you to your posterity, posterity which is your, your children and your children's children and things of that nature. So that's, that's the point I'm basically getting at. You know, you, you want, you want to have these youth step up in a way where they can actually make this place a little better, you know, so you can, you know, feel good in your old age to say that, you know what, now there's peace. Now there's a uh, little bit of harmony, you know, you now we can get to some bigger situations, some, you know, and solve some bigger problems and things of that nature. But when you have a gung ho mentality and, uh, in certain conditions, and as we say, be it in the ghetto or be it in the suburbs, without a great concrete foundation and guidance and leadership, it's all set to burn. All of it. Every every last every last cornerstone. Leave no stone unturned. That everything will flip over. Without guidance and leadership. And without pure self esteem some of these kids do it because they want to follow a pack they don't have uh, enough uh, self esteem they don't have enough uh, uh, honor within themselves so they wind up doing something to somebody else or doing something for somebody else that's not necessarily good for their best interest alright and it is what it is for the people that I know, especially in Chicago and Camden and, and Philadelphia and Florida and South Central and, you know, those communities, step by step. First, put down the guns. If it has to get to a squabble, learn how to fight, leave it alone. If you really must take it to the next level of fighting, say, well, this is what it's going to be. After the fight, we don't got to talk to each other no more. But I would like to see after our talking comes a dialogue on how to repair situations. Because 9 out of 10 times is all about how you speak to a person. That can get you... You don't even have to get involved with a situation. If you just speak to somebody properly. And we, and you know, we don't. We don't. We talk at each other instead of to each other. We'll do more talking than listening. See, you don't get anywhere like that. You know, and learn your history. Learn learn your culture. Have a culture. Build on that culture, whatever it is. Because in the root of the culture, you'll get more knowledge. And when you get deeper into the knowledge, you become reflective of the knowledge that you're digging for. So when you when you show yourself 
to the rest of the public, when you show yourself to the rest of the world, they know exactly where you got your knowledge from. They know exactly the type of person, what type of honor and self-respect you may have if you're dealing in a positive, in a positive light. But also if you're dealing in a negative light, you know, that dirty laundry will be exposed. We need to groom our youth. This is why you support after school programs. You support the summer programs. You support organizations that are willing to build communities, male organizations, female organizations, build communities. I mean, the time for preaching and, and the time for, for, for marching, it has its place. But now we need more practical situations. We need more, we need more hands-on stuff. We just can't throw the seeds in the soil anymore and just pray that they grow. Now you got to dig a little deeper. You got to irrigate. You got to make sure that that water is flowing to the seeds, getting to the soil. Don't got sunlight, you got to try to find another source. In other words, people, we got to build. And I do predict another Huntington coming up. Some, somewhere, some way. Without direction, without guidance, without purpose, this is what these kids would do. Now, when you see the video, you're going to laugh at first. <laughs> you're going to laugh. But, also, look deeper into what's going on. Look deeper. Because if they're directed the wrong way, you may have a militia on your hands. And it may not be the militia that you're looking for to save the rights of the Constitution and defend it. No, 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 no. You know, this is why I respect the hip-hop culture. This is why I respect certain pop culture. You know, it's not a thing where you have to love it, but you do have to respect it. It has brought some ties. It has broke barriers and, and brought people together. And this is the key. This is going to put man on a different level so we can solve bigger problems. Because right now we're, we're working with many minuscule problems. I don't know. You may agree with me. You may disagree with me. But as long as you got a spark of uh, of of acknowledgement of these situations, maybe you can come to your own conclusion. I like to know what you're thinking. So if you can, please send a comment. Please uh, rate, critique, um, build your own blog. I want to see your thoughts as well, because we add knowing is what's going to make this make this happen. Your 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 viewpoints and my viewpoints is what's going to make this happen. All right, look, I bid you peace and success, all wellness and good health. May you travel safe and travel light. Mega Suns Light dot blogspot dot com. Later.